Hello everybody. This is a highly requested video for me to do, talking about how I got my CCNA. And this isn't going to be a technical video. This is just going to be a video of me talking about my experience, um, why I took it, why I decided to go this route, how long it took me, and what sources I used to study, and how I stayed motivated throughout the whole process. So, the reason why I went after the CCNA was I have a mentor named Jorge, and a year ago, he advised me to go for my CCNA. And he basically just told me to look at the job market and, you know, he could tell me anything he wants to convince me, but I should go and look at the job market by myself to prove that what he's saying is true. So, you know, I went on Dice or Indeed.com or Glassdoor and I looked up Network Engineer. And almost all of the positions, the top requirement was to have your CCNA. So obviously, the CCNA is a huge marketing point. Like, that's one of the best certificates in the market to get your foot in the door, to get past the help desk roles, you know, network admin, network analyst, network engineer, stuff like that. So that's a huge certificate to get, to get your foot in the door. And one of the biggest things that kept me motivated was thinking back to when I was broke. And, you know, I, I don't want to be broke. I used to struggle I used to go to the grocery store and, and look at bread and you know I couldn't get the, the nice bread because that was three dollars I had to get the not nice bread just the no-name stuff for like a dollar fifty and just little things like that you know would break your heart every day so you know becoming a network engineer pays a lot and that's what I wanted to do so I didn't have to struggle go through my day-to-day -day life not being able to pay rent or struggling not being able to buy nice clothes not living my life like I want to have a family one day. I don't want my kids to struggle. So things like that were my biggest motivators. You know, I'd wake up probably five or six in the morning just to study. And that was the hardest thing because a lot of times, you know, I would, I would just turn my alarm off and go back to sleep and not study. But, you know, a lot of times I would get up and study and think, you know, I have to do this. I have to change my life, stuff like that. So, you know, that part was a big struggle. And I think I studied about 20 hours a week on average for Jorge said it took about three four months you know I watched a lot of youtubers who said they got it done in a month or two that's crazy mate I'm sure it's possible if you have the mindset for that but for me I'm not that academic so I had to watch everything a lot more than twice you know every single video I watched it three times the first time I just watched it no notes second time I watched it and I took notes and the third time I watched it and I reevaluated the notes and tried to tell it back to myself so I understood it more so my process was a lot longer so about six months into my studying I was using CBT Nuggets Udemy I was using Jorge's videos because he has his own training program I was going through reddit forums other YouTube videos from other sources you know Network Chuck Jeremy Siora they were awesome like I love Jeremy and I love Network Chuck too they have awesome content so six months in I booked my CCN exam I'm up here in Canada so the conversion rate was $500 Canadian so that was a lot and I took it and I remember not knowing anything on the test like every question came up and it was something that I've never seen before in my studies and I was I freaked out and I probably got like 20% on the test and you know I was I was pretty devastated but you know I, I also expected to fail the first time but I, just, I didn't expect to fail so bad so anyways I got back into it and I studied again for another four months and I took the exam again. This time I was a lot more familiar with things but you know the wording always threw me off and I got 60% this time and you know I was pretty upset because that was another $500 Canadian and in Canada they pay a bit less for tech as well for for network engineers and stuff like that so so overall that's a lot more money up here I guess but you know, I gave up for a little while and I went through a bit of a rut where I just stopped studying and I just started playing video games, going back to my old ways. And you know, a couple of months went by where I didn't do anything and I just kept beating myself up about it. And then I thought, you know what, I need to do this. Like I need to prove myself that I'm good enough and I'm capable enough and that I'm smart enough to be capable of doing this. So, you know, I got back into the books, I got back into studying. I started another schedule for myself where you know, 20 hours a week minimum. You know, you can't do it with less than 20 hours a week. If you really want to get into tech, you can't just be studying an hour a day 
Like that's not enough. You gotta, you gotta do more than that to compete with the marketplace and to get all the knowledge in. So, you know, I was doing 20 hours a week again. I was going through CBT Nuggets, Udemy. I was going through Jorge, you know, mentoring one-on-one -on -one with him. And this time I passed, I passed my CCNA and it would took me all together included since day one. It's been about a year and a half. So it took me about a year and a half to get it. And, you know, so for some people it takes a month. For me, it took a year and a half. And, you know, either way, it doesn't matter because I have it now, right? So the biggest takeaway is find why you need to do it. You know, what kind of dark places are you in that makes you not want to be there where you can use that to study harder and to get more motivation to study more, to hustle hard and to change your life. So that's my biggest pointer on that and I hope this video has been informative and you know if anybody wants to reach out to me I'll drop my LinkedIn in the profile you can message me with any questions and I'll be happy to help you know we can video call we can talk about things I'll do it for free and yeah I hope I hope that if you're taking your CCNA right now I hope that if you fail that you don't give up and I hope that if you pass then that's awesome for you so Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.